Alexis Barr is getting used to her new job as a park attendant at Braden River Park. Oh, I love parks. I'm always trying to be outside. I don't like being inside. Can't sit still. This busybody loves helping others. It's a tradition she learned from her mom, who volunteers with the Special Olympics. If I can connect being in my community and being outside and being able to help and um, make sure that the parks are looking nice, no littering is happening, then um, that's truly what makes me happy. She's one of 14 full-time park attendants who are responsible for seven separate county parks. The job includes simple tasks like checking the bathrooms. In here, I'm just checking to make sure that there's toilet paper, everything's set and ready for the sports that come in and the users of the park. And picking up trash. It's more than a $700,000 program that's aimed to provide a presence in the parks. It was created to respond to the growing number of people in the community and to offer customer service. The county's mission is to keep the areas clean and secure, but also to minimize vandalism. These are pictures from December when Creekwood Park was vandalized, costing thousands of dollars in repairs. Molly White is a deputy director for Sports and Leisure Services Department for Manage County. She says having an attendant in the park can help address issues in real time. So unfortunately, sometimes vandalism does occur throughout the parks, um, and this person is able to address those concerns right away. Alexis's shift is from 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. She says the busiest time is after 3 p.m., which is when more events take place and people come to the park. By interacting with the people and knowing that they're having a good time in the parks is my favorite thing. She surveys all the areas in her park mobile, looking for anything out of place, ready to alert county officials if needed. It's always something to do here in the parks. It's a commitment to service to make sure her park is in tip-top shape for all residents. In Manatee County, Julia Hazel, Spectrum News.